Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, is currently a major health problem. Many people are calling COPD the hidden population disease, and as many as 4-6% to of the population have this disease in Western Europe. The main cause of this disease is smoking, and the disease develops slowly over years, almost without being noticed by the smoker. Therefore, most of the patients have never had the diagnosis of COPD. COPD is now almost as frequent among women as it is among men, and it looks like women are developing COPD quicker than men, because they tolerate less tobacco smoke. It is therefore not unusual that women in their 40s have developed significant breathing problems because of COPD. Approximately 90% of people who develop COPD do so due to smoking. People who start smoking do not register the gradual deterioration happening in their lungs. If we look down the airways with a bronchioscope, we can, in a healthy person, see a pink mucosa with perfectly functioning cilia and a thin layer of mucus. The purpose of this is to remove dust and particles from the airways. When a person starts to smoke, the smoke will irritate the mucosa and after a while lead to an inflammation. Different types of inflammatory cells will be transported to the airways by the bloodstream, where these cells release chemicals that harm the mucosa and the cilia. This inflammation results in production of more tenacious mucus in the airways. In some areas of the airways, the cilia are disappearing and cilial function is not as effective as before. This leads to an accumulation of mucus, which can act as a substrata for bacteria and result in infections in the airways and lead to exacerbations. In the distal end of the airways, we have the alveoli. The alveoli exist in very large numbers, many millions. In the capillaries, which are fine blood vessels surrounding the alveoli, the exchange of oxygen in and carbon dioxide out is taking place. When the inflammatory processes are allowed to continue over many years, the alveoli may be destroyed. The walls of the alveoli are destroyed by enzymes, and the number of alveoli is reduced. This state is called emphysema. Patients with emphysema have a strongly reduced exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide and these patients feel breathless because they cannot receive sufficient amounts of oxygen. COPD is a disease developing slowly over decades. Therefore, patients adapt to the new situation with low lung function gradually. A COPD patient may get an acute exacerbation of her or his disease due to an airways infection. This may lead to contact with a physician or hospital. This person has been prescribed a combination drug by her physician. The drug is being inhaled from a powder inhaler containing a combination of a bronchiodilator and an anti-inflammatory drug. Here we see how the medicine is being inhaled and deposited in the airways.